All right, a friend of mine, I uh, shared this video here talking about um, check making capitalism in three moves. And the three moves being number one, um, the creation of the blockchain, which is an alternative sandbox for for uh, launching alternative business models, right? That's the, that's the why the blockchain is for us to be able to explore a different way than our current business model. Um, actually, prior to that, one, one is the creation of Bitcoin. Bitcoin that has become the most scarce, the most valuable asset on the planet, and it's going to continue to grow scarce and valuable, right? Number two was the blockchain. Number three is is the forking of BitClout. And BitClout is Bitcoin as a software. And forking it in such a way, if I was to pull up this this deck, all right, on it, um, let me just pull up this deck um, to show you. So, um, so if you, if you, this square right here is BitClout. Uh, here's your Twitter feed, they tokenize it. Does it validate? Someone puts a Bitcoin here. The user's putting a Bitcoin. There's game mechanics. That's what you have here. The stake and follows. It's really the only two things in retweet. Um, and um, retweet would be re promote, by the way. So they have stake, follow, and retweet, right? And uh, that is 4,000 Bitcoin has gone in there. So what, what they have created, uh, their own token for their own thing, right? Now imagine you're doing the same thing for your restaurant um, where you can fork this and have your own restaurant token um, and each of the meals and everything that you have in there ultimately in a simple app becomes you know uh, becomes a product which meals do you think are going to be most like there's a whole game mechanics on this um, and all the Bitcoin is it goes into a smart DAO it never leaves a smart DAO right so you're pulling Bitcoin off a network owned by an individual or a few and you're putting into a smart DAO that then turns around and pays out a residual UBI to the stakeholders. The stakeholders being the consumers of the restaurant, the collaborators who are working in the kitchen, cooks, the cleaners, all that, and then the creators which are ultimately the the restaurant itself. Um, and um, ultimately what that means is is imagine when you fly you have the same framework for air miles. Someone forks it you have it for um, um, anything, right? And here's the cool thing: like you could set up for an airline, and airline doesn't even even you can just create it for an airline, and uh, you know, so you don't even have to have permission to fork it for a specific industry. You could create it for a farm, you could create it for a village, everything, anything, and everything, right? Um, and you're simply forking this. Uh, this this you know this model so right here what I talk about it's an open fork making it easy for anyone to fork BitCloud BitCloud found up fork right so it's BitCloud found up fork it's Bitcoin as a platform because the Bitcoin becomes the platform in the sense that the Bitcoin that goes into the platform stays in the platform it gets pulled off of the network what does that mean is as the Bitcoin gets pulled off of the network well I'll tell you what it, what it's gonna mean all right let me just open the snag it right here all right, let me go down here. This is what happens to the price of Bitcoin when you pull it off the market. So remember that all the Bitcoins flowing into these these are these these projects here, they're staying. There is no more selling or buying. You're creating more scarcity, causing them the price of Bitcoin to go up. Now, one of the arguments is well, if you pull all the network, the Bitcoin off, then there's no value, right? Of Bitcoin is owned. It's not owned by one, it's owned by the network. All of these the stack, the logo here, you see the logo here, stacked? That's a distributive DAO. That's a smart DAO. What they have a logo of is of, of, of the smart DAO. And what they were not thinking, they were thinking of controlling the Bitcoin from this one and controlling the Bitcoin from this one. And they didn't understand my work. And the thing is, in my work, you have a smart DAO and all the Bitcoin flows in the smart DAO. It's owned by the smart DAOs, which form as what's known as Kadetsu. They form this... Um, I'll open this up new image. I, do I have it on here? Maybe I have it on here. Let's see library. Um, here. It's another image of it, right? So all of these represents a fork of our fork, right? Each one of these independent, but they're all connected. These are all smart DAOs creating a network, right? They're stacked. So all the DAOs work together. They're all holding 
holding the Bitcoin. They're all turning these 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 native tokens into stable coins that with SushiSwap will be interchangeable with anything. Any sort of token or currency that comes into the system, guess what? Gets turned into Bitcoin and gets stored. Again, why? Because Bitcoin is the most valuable, the rarest of all the assets out there. They're anything more rare. And ultimately, it is these networks that's going to drive value. And these networks are going to provide you a UBI. Welcome to the fifth age. Welcome to social beneficial capitalism.